the track and field team of South Sudan. Three Olympians, one Paralympian, and their coach. More than 7,000 miles away from home, they've been living in Maibashi, a city two hours north of Tokyo. A typical day for the group consists of Japanese and computer lessons in the morning, followed by lunch at a cafeteria in the basement of City Hall. Today's menu? Fried chicken with pasta, boiled vegetables, and steamed rice. Almost every meal comes with a hot bowl of miso soup, which has become a staple for the group. Then it's off to practice. Since November 2019, this is where the athletes have trained for the Tokyo Olympics, rain or shine. Training camp was initially expected to last about half a year, but their stay was extended after the Olympics were delayed by the global pandemic. They've quickly embraced the local environment and its people. The group has mingled with locals at dancing parties, given speeches at schools and universities, and worked with the local police department to raise terrorism awareness. We shall be able to learn a lot of things, both bad and good. Then what we feel is good, we take it and also teach our people at home. And then what we think is bad, and we also learn, we leave it at the Olympic Village gate when we are leaving. And the residents have supported them in return. Through a crowdfunding campaign, taxpayers from across Japan raised $250,000 in donations to fund the extended stay. There's evidence of other fundraisers on the streets, too. You can find a dozen or so of these vending machines all over the city. It's part of the local government's efforts to raise money for the South Sudanese team. And proceeds from every can and bottle go towards their training camp costs. Abraham lost his stepbrother in the civil war, but still considers himself lucky. In my family, he was the only one killed, and I felt pity more for those families where the whole family is ruined or five members being killed, you know. His late stepbrother is among the estimated 400,000 casualties from the war, one of the bloodiest conflicts in modern African history. Backed by the U.S. government, South Sudan won independence from Sudan in 2011. But an internal conflict quickly sent the new nation into a bitter struggle that wiped out almost 5 percent of its population through ethnic cleansing and widespread famine. Their hope now? to win the country's first ever Olympic medal and spread the message of peace back at home.